I'm Barbara Dacey at the Cisco Ottawa Blues Fest, and I'm here with Tom Wilson. Hello, Tom. Hey, how you doing? Good. It's good to see you again. We saw you. Uh, we tried to figure it out. We think it's a couple of years ago in uh, Toronto. I know. I, you know, I don't even drink anymore, and I don't remember when we got together. But it was a hotel room. And we yeah. did do an interview. <laughs> we did, okay. So here we are back again. We have the backlighting, you know, just to... I know, we got something going on. It's real. It looks like a dressing room, probably is. <laughs> I've been in rooms like this before. I suspect it's a dressing room. <laughs> so you're here at the Cisco Ottawa Blues Fest to, uh, to play at the Barney Dancing Theatre. And um, a veteran uh, singer-songwriter from Canada. This is your home. You were, you're from... Hamilton, Ontario, and now live in Halifax? I live in, I live in both places. In fact, I just got home. Uh, I'm very tired. Uh, for those of you in Radioland, uh, I look horrible. And for those of you who are watching this being filmed, you, you look. I look really horrible. <laughs> um, I was just uh, down the States uh, with John Hyatt, and I flew home yesterday. And then we got in a car and drove here, and then I'm driving home and jumping on a plane and going to Halifax. So it seems that even when I'm not traveling for work, uh, I'm still on the road going home somehow. Somehow I'm always going home. We've really gotten the feeling of being here um, since we've been here for 10 days. You know, what it, such a feeling of what it's like to, or what we think it's like to be a musician, a traveling musician. And just a real, a real grueling, tiring, a lot of joy and satisfaction, but it's, it's tiring. Oh, it is. I think, I, I, can't, I can't give you the exact quote, but Charlie Watts said that he'd been, at this, some point in his career, this is back, probably back in the 70s or 80s, he'd been playing music for 30 years, or had been a musician for 30 years, but he had actually been on stage playing music for about four days total out of that 30 years because a lot most of it is just sitting around and waiting uh most of it is uh, sitting around in cars driving you know or sitting on planes but i mean uh it, it's 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 just a life that we choose and uh it's not the most thrilling lifestyle but uh i think that uh the dedication to to uh, communication, the de dedication to playing music is uh, drives us drives us through all this weather and through all these nights to get here yeah, it is. It's it's uh, it's real dedication, and it and it is wor it's worth it for us to be able to experience um, the music you know that's being created. We were talking just a little while ago about a project that you um, did with the Cowboy Junkies. Very interesting. Uh, tell us about it. Um, it's a project. Uh, this is going to be my my latest album. I guess is going to be. It's under the uh, title uh, Lee Harvey Osmond is the name of the band, and he's kind of the uh, Osmond brother that didn't get the nurturing. Uh, at childhood, so things didn't go so well for him. Um, we originally still got together. Michael Timmons uh, had asked me. First of all, uh, I've been around the Cowboy Junkies, not working with them, but um, bands that I've been with, and being in in around the in Toronto music scene, I've known about the Cowboy Junkies and have been uh, in in their world for probably 20 years, but never worked with them. And a couple of years ago, my band Blackie and the Rodeo Kings and the Cowboy Junkies got on a train and went across Canada uh, for three days playing music to people. And uh, we really enjoyed each other's company. Uh, Mike Timmons and a friend of his have uh, put together a record called The Kennedy Suites. The Kennedy Suites is a collection of songs written, all written uh, about the day that uh, JFK was shot. And they called me up to do one song, and Mike and I hit it off in the studio. And uh, along with our friend Josh Finlinson from the Sky Diggers, uh, we just decided to keep recording. So we did the one song for the Kennedy Suites, which should be released later this year, and uh, started this album, Lee Harvey Osmond. And it's uh, a great collection of songs, and there's a sensibility, and there is a something about Mike Timmons and the Cowboy Junkies walk a different path than the rest of the singer-songwriters in this world. And as a result, they've had astronomical success. Um, uh, we joke about it because uh, Mike is actually really successful at being a musician and a businessman and a traveler, and the rest of us are just trying really hard. <laughs> but uh, there's, uh, uh, there's a part of the art of communication that Mike has figured out is the simplicity and, uh, of treating songs and treating songs in the manner of the way they're written around a kitchen table or uh, around the living room and not to detract from that with production is to actually uh, let the production kind of fall into uh, the, the actual writing of the song. So that's why we kind of hit it off and um, it's something I've admired their records for years although I've never made records like that. Now I can actually say that I have been put under Mike Timmons' spell and the Cowboy Junkie's spell and Lee Harvey Osmond should be released next year. Well it probably too. <laughs> 
She she gives me that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. Go ahead. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, <clears throat> I lost it. So, um, where, do I, where else do I want to go? You can edit this guy, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to. I can tell you that um, Blackie and the Rodeo Kings uh, were supposed to be on tour this year in the States, and uh, we are also releasing a new album, which is kind of a 11-year uh, retrospective of the work that we've done on all our albums around the world. Um, it's being put out on vinyl, which I'm really happy about, through um, Greg Calby in New York, who is a, a guy who masters records, and he's mastered everything from Born to Run through all Bob Dylan's records, through most of the records, uh, vinyl, and uh, many of the CDs that you probably play on your station, probably some of the really epic recordings. Um, are, were mastered by Greg Calby. He's releasing Blackie and the Rodeo Kings in the U.S. on vinyl. And um, we had to postpone our touring plans because Colin Linden got the call to take over Buddy Miller's seat uh, with Emmylou Harris. So um, if you're out there watching Emmylou Harris this summer, folks, uh, that, that little guy in the black hat and the black suit wowing you with his guitar playing is Colin Linden from Blackie and the Rodeo Kings. Well, Tom, thanks so much for uh, spending some time with us great. today, and uh, have a have a great uh, gig. Well, for the show. I just woke up. I really just woke up when you guys came in, so we're going to see how it goes. I, I usually, I'm so old that it takes me about an hour to really come around, so I don't even remember this. Thanks a lot. Okay. Barbara Dacey for the Cisco Ottawa Blues Fest for MVYRadio.com.